So I don't particularly know why you might find this interesting, but I found this interesting. Um, so I told you a couple of weeks, uh, maybe a week or was it a week or so, uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, I went to the hospital because my arm was all fucked up and I had to figure out what was wrong with me. And I don't have health insurance currently, so I was like, oh, I'm going to be paying myself. And they were like, oh, okay. And, I mean, I didn't ask for anything. You know, I was like, you know, if you can give me sample medication, that'd be cool. But they didn't give me any medicine anyway, so it really wasn't anything. They gave me the uh, wrist brace. And but pretty much what happened was <clears throat> I went in, I signed in, filled out all the paperwork, right? And then, um... We sat in the waiting room, and then we went back into the, whatever, the triage, and they had me take off my shirt, they put a bunch of stickers all over me, hooked up a bunch of wires of those, they watched the machine do something, make some noise, I don't know, and then they went into a back room, and the doctor came out and talked to me, she went to the back room, and then the dude came back and talked to me. And he went in the back room. And the doctor came out and gave me two ibuprofen and a wrist brace. And told me a whole bunch of stuff about what, what I should do and whatnot. And that was it. Like, that was it. There was nobody there. Like, there was nobody at the hospital that day. I mean, I, I, I mean there were people there. But, like, nobody was in the ER. So it wasn't like, you know, they were just standing around chit-chatting. Wasn't like I was actually doing it, you know. I didn't distract anybody from anything. It wasn't like it, I had a team of people around me or whatnot. Hours did not go into them actually doing anything, except you know, me sitting there. Whatever. <clears throat> so that's pretty much the story of exactly what happened. Um. And so I I got the bill. <sighs> Ready for this emergency room visit. $2,583 just, just, just to go to the emergency room. $2,500. That's expensive. Self-administered drugs. Ibuprofen. That cost me $2. I wonder how much it would have cost if it was administered by one of them. And the EKG was $570 for a grand total of $3,155 due three days ago Ooh, boy I should have looked at that oh well there you go cool alright so I had to check the due date on the other one um so yeah I'm late on that but I'm in luck. I got this letter. Right? It's from the hospital. Uh, it says, Dear Andrew, with a 100% patient-centered focus, the physician leaders and entire staff of Western Reserve Hospital are dedicated to delivering the highest quality of care to patients for whom we are honored to serve. For the above date of service, you have been found eligible for the Western Reserve Charity Program. This program is not funded. Western Reserve Hospital Administration has approved this program to, base, to provide basic, medically necessary care to individuals or patients from families with households income marginally above the federal poverty guideline. The program does not apply to physician or professional services. You are encouraged to contact medical providers directly to resolve any balance through directly with them. The Western Reserve Charity Program guidelines state patient co-pays would still be the responsibility of the patients. Therefore, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, so they are taking care of $3,155. I, I don't know shit. So that's pretty cool. Um... Apparently, from what it sounds like, they must have been like, 
Dude's left arm was numb and hurting him like crazy. Probably thought he was going to have a heart attack. He's fine. He's got a pinched nerve. We gave him some ibuprofen and a fucking wrist brace. We weren't doing fuck all else anyways. Why are we going to charge this dude $3,000 for two ibuprofen and an arm brace? Which is really all I actually got out of it. And I got told to go see another doctor. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. But of course, Suma, I don't know, I don't know how wide-reaching Suma is, but fucking Suma, well, they're still charging me $690 for fucking emergency room visit and electrocardiogram. So, I still owe money. I didn't get away scot-free, because fucking Suma's got to get their shit into it. But, eh, whatever. I always knew that when an insurance company bought a hospital, that was going to be bad. But, so, that, that's what's, ultimately that's what's going on with my medical stuff. Um, went to the doctor and he gave me, uh, drugs. So, I've been taking drugs. And it's been great. I mean, it's just muscle relaxers. They're not even really all that powerful. And he's like, take one of these and like four ibuprofen before you go to bed every night. And see how that does you. So, it's not really, I mean, it, there's improvement, but I'm also not doing what I was doing that, that aggravated everything. So, and it's not, it doesn't seem like it's fixing anything. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. He said that for right now, we're going to try this. And in a year when I get health insurance, then I go back and he wants to, if, if it's not better, like if it's not all better, then he wants to, uh, he, it's not EKG, he wants to... Not x-ray, but ultra, not ultrasound either. What the fuck is it? It's the thing where you go in the big tube and they take pictures of your muscles and shit, right? So he wants to do that and see what's really going on in there. And he said that if it's if it's the type of thing where it's a muscle wrapped around the nerve, he said if it gets bad enough that you start seeing that it's killing the limb, then uh, we, we have to go in there and do some surgery. But that's not happening. He looked at my arms and he compared them both and they're both fairly symmetrical. So I'm fine. Everything's good. Nothing really bad. Except I owe $600 to Suma. Those fuckers. But whatever. Anyways, so there you go. That's what's happening with me. Uh, just, just kind of, that's kind of the end of the whole, my arm's numb thing. My arm's not numb anymore. And I owe $600. <laughs>